Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to add e-commerce page into your app. Let's see how it's done. Go to our NoCo app building platform. First, enter your business name and click on Next. Then enter the purpose of your app and click on Next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, the system's AI will add certain pages to your app. If you see that the e-commerce page is already added to your app, click on it. Else, click on the plus icon, click on view all, search for e-commerce, and click on the page to add it to your app. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from my library or add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and website. Now let's add some products to the e-commerce store. Click on add product. A pop-up window asking to add new category will open. Add to the category menu here. From here you can enable or disable the sorting order of products alphabetically. From here you can change the status of the category to active or inactive. If you want you can add thumbnail to your product from here. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see a category has been created on your store dashboard. Now click on the created category. Here you can create a subcategory. Click on add subcategory. A pop-up window asking to add new subcategory will open. Enter the subcategory name here. From here you can enable or disable the sorting order of products alphabetically. From here you can change the status of the subcategory to active or inactive. If you want, you can add thumbnail to your product from here. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see subcategory has been created on your store dashboard. Let's add some products to the subcategory now. Click on add product, a pop-up window asking to add new product will open. Enter the product name here. Enter the product SQU number here. Now enter the quantity of the product in this field. Enter the product cost in the price field. Select appropriate product unit here. Now enter the product description in this field. If you want to add image or video to your product, click on media. The media pop-up window will open. Click on add images to add an image. From here you can add video to your product either from YouTube or from your device. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to allow users to upload image at the time of checkout. Next comes product options. From here you can provide multiple options for your product. Click on add option to continue. Now enter the product option title here. Now select your desired option here. Enter the sorting order of the product option here. From here you can delete the product option. Now enter title value here. Enter cost in the price field. Now select the price type that is whether you want to provide it for additional price or less price. From here you can sort the, pro the order of product based on its title value. Click on add row to add multiple values. From here you can delete the row. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see the product has been created on your store dashboard. From here you can select and see your desired products on the dashboard. You can even search products by their name here. From here you can select all products in one go and perform your desired actions. Now go to manage your customers. Here you can see and manage all of your customers, since there's no customers, so it will show you the alert no customer exists. Next comes manage orders. Here you can see and manage all of, all of your orders. From here you can search an order based on its ID or transaction ID. You can even search the orders based on the date by selecting the appropriate starting date and end date here. If that's not enough, you can even search the order based on their status. From here you can reset the search results. If you want you can export the order in a CSV file format from here. From here you can export the orders in XLS Excel file format. Next comes general settings. In configuration settings you will see general information of your store. Enter the store name here. In store email field you can provide the email address on which you want to receive orders. Now select the currency code in which you want your customers to make the payment. If you want to provide a discount for your products, enter the value here. From here you can change the sorting order of the category. 
In minimum order amount field, you can enter the minimum value below which customers can make an order. Here you can provide your desired number of days after which the card will expire. Now enter the phone number on which you want to receive SMS whether, whenever an order is placed. Click on add more to add multiple phone numbers. Next comes SMS section. Here you need to provide account, SID, authorization token, and phone number. From here you can add the default image of your store page. Once done, click on save. Next comes other settings section. Here you will see a few settings. Chair products, details, chip and information, customer address, and plus code, which you can turn on or off as per your needs. Next comes payment method section. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to enable cash on delivery. If you want, you can add multiple other payment methods from here, such as PayPal Express, PayPal Payments Pro, credit card over the phone, credit card via Stripe Payment Gateway, and Hubtel. Once done, click on Save. Now go to Language Settings. Here you will see all the alert messages being displayed on your store page. If you want, you can change them from here. Next comes Rules. Click on Add New Discount Rule to add discount rules. A pop-up window Add Discount Rule will open. Enter total amount on which you want to provide discount and subtotal field. Now select your desired rule here. Enter the discount price in this field. Now select the rate here that is percentage or flat. Once done, click on save to continue. You will see the rule has been created. If you want, you can edit and update the rule from here. From here, you can change the status of the rule. Click on this icon to delete the rule. Next comes shipping. Click on add new shipping rule to add shipping rule. A pop-up window Add Chipping Rule will open. Enter chip and charge name here. Enter total amount in this field. Now select a rule. Now enter the chipping price. Next comes selecting the rate that is percentage or flat. Now select the appropriate country. By default, all countries are selected. If you want, you can change it. Once done, click on Save. You will see the chipping rule has been created. Next comes Tax. Click on Add New Tax to add tax rule. A pop-up window Add New Tax will open. Enter total amount in this field. Now select your desired rule. Enter tax price here. Next comes selecting the rate that is percentage or flat. Now select the specific country where this tax applies. Once done, click on save. You will see the tax rule has been created. From here you can edit and update the tax rule. If you want, you can enable or disable this rule from here. From here you can delete the rule. Next comes miscellaneous tax. Here you can different taxes. Click on add new miscellaneous tax. A pop-up window add new miscellaneous tax will open. Enter tax type in this field. Now provide tax amount. From here you can select the rate for your tax. Once done, click on save to continue. Next comes coupons. Click to on add new coupon. A pop-up window add coupon will appear. Enter coupon name here. Provide coupon code in this field. Now select date of issue and expiry date as per your needs. Next comes selecting discount type, that is percentage or flat. Now enter the discount amount here. Now select a rule as per your needs. Enter the discount on price here. From here you can change the status of the coupon to active or inactive. Once done, click on save. Next comes CMS pages. Here you can provide terms and conditions and privacy policy for your store page. Once done, click on save to update. Next comes import export products. If you want, you can upload products through CSV file from here. From here, you can upload, download products information in the CSV and Excel file format. Next comes sales report. Here you can check the sales report for different time periods, such as last seven days, last 30 days, or last one year, etc. You can even export the sales report in the CSV or Excel file format from here. Once you are done, click on save and continue to finish creating your app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.